China just pulled off a massive leap in aerospace tech. Its Feitian 2 hypersonic vehicle didn't just fly. It successfully tested a breakthrough engine that blends rocket power with air-breathing tech. That's a game-changer. Real flight data, autonomous control, and futuristic fuel systems all came together in one test. So why does this matter? Because it brings us one step closer to reusable space vehicles and next-gen high-speed transport. Let's break down exactly how and why. Phaetian 2's latest test flight isn't just a milestone. It's a shift in what's technologically possible. Developed by China's Northwestern Polytechnical University, NPU, the vehicle demonstrated a combination of capabilities that engineers have been chasing for decades. The highlight? It successfully collected real flight data from a rocket-based combined cycle, RBCC, engine using a kerosene hydrogen peroxide fuel mix, a first in the field. RBCC engines aim to merge two different propulsion methods into one, rocket propulsion and air-breathing ramjet capability. This engine type is highly efficient because it uses oxygen from the atmosphere during flight instead of carrying all oxidizers on board. That significantly reduces the weight of the fuel system and improves performance, but the catch has always been transitioning between flight phases smoothly. Phaetian 2 seems to have cracked this. The engine's performance during the test included variable geometry intake operation, meaning the air intake system dynamically reshaped itself in flight to adjust for changes in airflow at different speeds. This is crucial for avoiding shockwave buildup or instability during hypersonic travel. At mock speeds, air doesn't flow like it does for a commercial jet. It compresses violently, and only a system that can morph mid-air can handle it efficiently. Another critical success was thrust varying acceleration. As the vehicle accelerated, it transitioned between different engine modes without instability. This is one of the main challenges in combined cycle propulsion. The ejector mode, where a rocket boosts the vehicle off the ground, must smoothly transition to the ramjet mode, or the engine will fail. Phaetian 2 managed this transition seamlessly, pointing to a mature design and strong system integration. Most impressively, the vehicle achieved autonomous flight with a variable angle of attack. This means the vehicle adjusted its trajectory and aerodynamic profile mid-flight, without human intervention, to optimize stability and performance. The capability is critical for real-world missions that require maneuvering through unpredictable environments or executing precise control tasks at extreme speeds. Phaetian 2 represents a significant leap forward from its predecessor, Phaetian 1, an understanding that progression gives us deeper insight into how China is approaching next-generation aerospace technology. Phaetian 1, which flew in July 2022, was primarily an engine validation platform. Its mission was to demonstrate that a kerosene-powered RBCC engine could maintain stable thrust across multiple speed regimes. And it did. It proved the engine could switch between modes without major failures. But Phaetian 2 builds on that by integrating everything into a more capable flight vehicle. While Phaetian 1 was about function, Phaetian 2 is about control, endurance, and system intelligence. The external design alone shows how much thought has gone into aerodynamic refinements. Engineers added large, swept tail fins to enhance stability at high altitudes and extended the vehicle's body to improve balance during transitional speeds. Also, winglets near the rocket head help with lift distribution, enabling better control over the angle of attack and dynamic maneuvering at high speeds. This isn't just about how it looks. These design upgrades reflect a deeper shift in purpose. Phaetian 2 is intended to fly precisely, respond autonomously, and deliver data that translates to operational engineering. The added control surfaces and shape refinements aren't experiments. They're the blueprint for scalable flight hardware. Fueling strategy was another key evolution. While Phaetian 1 stuck with kerosene alone, Phaetian 2 employed a kerosene-hydrogen peroxide mix. Why does this matter? Kerosene is a high-density, storable hydrocarbon fuel, and hydrogen peroxide acts as an oxidizer that's more manageable than cryogenic oxygen. This combo allows pre-fueling before launch and long standby durations. It's a fuel mix that balances performance with logistical simplicity. The most transformative advancement, however, lies in autonomous control systems. Phaetian 2 doesn't just fly, it thinks. Its ability to automatically adjust its angle of attack in response to altitude, 
velocity, and atmospheric pressure changes shows that the platform is ready for far more than simple speed tests. This type of logic and control can enable everything from precise orbital insertion to guided high-speed missions through dynamic environments. The successful test of Fate TN2 doesn't exist in a vacuum. It lands squarely within the broader context of the global race for hypersonic innovation, and its implications are substantial. While many countries are still in early testing phases, Fate TN2's integrated engine, flight control, and propulsion system suggest that China may be advancing faster than many expected. What's particularly striking is the source of this breakthrough. Northwestern Polytechnical University, NPU, an academic institution currently under U.S. technology sanctions. These restrictions limit the university's access to sensitive components and research tools from abroad. Yet, despite these obstacles, NPU and its partner, the Shangxi Province Aerospace and Astronautics Propulsion Research Institute, delivered a fully functioning RBC-powered hypersonic vehicle with autonomous capabilities. That level of progress suggests a growing self-reliance in advanced aerospace development, something that resonates beyond just this one flight. Fatian 2's success raises the bar for hypersonic competition. It shows that next-gen vehicles don't need to rely on ultra-cold cryogenic fuels or complex multistage systems. Instead, they can use more flexible fuel systems, morphing intakes, and onboard intelligence to achieve flight goals. These attributes not only improve performance but also significantly reduce cost and turnaround time. Key factors of hypersonic platforms are to be widely used. Moreover, the smooth transition between propulsion modes, one of the major achievements of this test, solves a challenge that has long delayed the operational use of combined cycle engines. In the past, even brief gaps between rocket and ramjet thrust have led to catastrophic failures or total loss of vehicle control. Fatian 2's ability to handle this transition reliably makes it a candidate for reusable platforms or space planes that could operate from regular runways in the future. And there's a quiet message embedded in the test as well. By publicly announcing and detailing the successful flight, China is signaling not only its progress but its confidence. This wasn't a secret military trial, it was a university-led mission with technical details made available for global observers. That transparency serves a dual purpose. It demonstrates capability and invites recognition of a leadership position in hypersonic engineering. Fatian 2's flight isn't just another test. It's a signal that the future of high-speed aerospace travel is already unfolding. What began as an experimental propulsion system has now evolved into an intelligent, aerodynamic, and functionally autonomous hypersonic vehicle. By combining a practical fuel system, advanced control algorithms, and a successful RBCC engine test, this flight shows that hypersonic platforms are moving from the lab into reality. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.